They are positively huge, white whales full of drinkable water. Okay, yeah, I'll take a drink out of it. This is Terry Sprague's idea, to develop a cheap way of shipping water from places where there's too much to places where there's not enough. In a world where towing icebergs to Saudi Arabia is considered impractical, the now patented Sprague bag may become a solution. Inside this one bag, more than 700,000 gallons of fresh water. And they can make bags bigger than this. And all these bags can be connected into long trains and towed anywhere in the world. The bags were put into the sea last weekend. They take more than 24 hours to fill up with fresh water, this time from the Elwha River. Fresh water is lighter than seawater, so the full bags float. But like icebergs, most of their bulk is below the surface. An inventor apparently hopes to use those giant bags to transport water around the world. This week, he's testing those bags filled with fresh water from the Elwha River on runs between Port Angeles and Seattle. One bag, listen to this, holds about 770,000 gallons of water. Since fresh water is lighter than salt water, the bags float and can be easily towed. The inventor, Terry Sprague, hopes to use his idea to ship water from places like the Northwest to dry areas like Southern California. For three days, Terry Sprague has been cruising from Port Angeles to Seattle with his cargo of fresh water, inviting reporters to walk and even run on the giant bags that hold it, selling the idea as a solution to water shortages. If this system is correct, we will have a completely new, more economical way of delivering fresh water all over the face of the earth. So if someone says to me, well, that's just two bags. I say, well, all right, how many bags do you want after that? because I can just connect them like railroad boxcars with a coupling. The key is the connection. The connection is a zipper that Sprague's also patented. He's a promoter who spent eight years on this project, believing someday there'll be a big payoff, not just for him, but for anyone living in a land where fresh water is hard to find. 